AV Alive here with another informative product video. Today talking about the Blackmagic ATM 4K switcher in a live streaming environment. I get a lot of questions about using the switcher and what it does and does not do in a 4K and live production environment. And we're gonna discuss some of that here today. The ATM Production Studio 4K was released here in 2014 and is a tremendous tool because it integrates both audio and video all the way up to 4K resolution in a single rack space. Uh, used to be the uh, ATM TV studio was a single rack space, but usually required the Behring in order to produce audio in a single rack space. But the ATM Production Studio 4K now includes both XLR audio inputs as well as RCA on the back panel. In fact, it even expands things further and allows it to have multiple SDI and HDMI inputs that go up to eight simultaneous ins. But one caveat is you've only got four HDMI and four SDI. So basically you'll have to uh, only limit your devices to either four HDMI and or four SDI devices in order to use all eight sources. You can see our other videos how to configure the software to work that way. But basically the 4K studio as a single rack space is a tremendous value under $1,700 that incorporates both your audio and video in one single rack space. But let's talk about how it integrates into a live streaming environment. It couldn't be easier. All you simply do is connect your cameras like you normally would, and then choose one of our uh, encoding devices, either the Teradek, Livestream, or Mac Mini, or your host computer as your live streaming encoder. The specs are real simple. An i7 or higher Mac is perfect with at least 16 gigs of RAM, and of course the Adobe Flash Media software two Ethernet connections, and a 500K uninterrupted uh, bandwidth to your favorite CDN internet provider. So basically with the ATM Production Studio controlling up to eight sources, along with your encoder being a Mac Mini again, MacBook, Mac Pro, or one of the external devices, you are live to the internet via HDMI or SDI directly out. Couldn't it be simpler. Are there any other special settings you need to know about? Absolutely not. Of course, to this day of this uh, record, I don't know of a 4K live streaming option, so you'll have to make sure you're obviously HD on the output going to your encoder. Some other things to consider is having a backup, and we use, as you see in the rack, a HyperDeck Studio as our backup uh, mechanism, which records directly to SSD in the Apple ProRes or the Avid DNX format. Great quality HD, and of course, with the, S, with the uh, HyperDeck Studio Pro, you can also do a backup to 4K. That's a tremendous tool to add to the ATM Production Studio 4K. And of course, we use a preview, multi-view monitor, as well as a program monitor out in our rack. So those gives you some solutions in the 4K realm in order to get your video out to the internet using the ATM Production Studio 4K. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.